Welcome back, everyone. Ellington here, and we are back on Total War Rome 2, and we have got a Siege of Carthage. One of the more popular maps, I would say. This one is a two versus two. Um, and starting off with some of the players and their armies, we have got Massilia being commanded by Spoon Cavalry. He is the one who sent in this battle. You can see that due to the yellow around the banner. Then his ally, we have Sparta, being commanded by Jonathan, I think is how you say it. Um, I hope I got that right. For the defenders, we have got Bactria being commanded by Billy Bob. We have got, we can't, well, we can see Pontus as archers. Pontus being commanded by Sir Alex. You can see Pontus actually, this is kind of interesting, I guess. Um, he brought his Greek scorpion out of the settlement here. He's guarding it with a, pair of, uh, with a unit of thorax swords. I don't know that I quite agree with this move. I'm going to be honest with you about that. He's even now, he's leaving the artillery outside and taking the crew inside. You know, Sparta's over here with some cavalry. They saw the scorpion. They want to get at it. One unit of thorax swords might find it a little hard to keep that scorpion crew safe. But why Why leave? Well, where'd they go? Where did the... He left his artillery pieces outside of the wall. So I, I don't... I don't know what to, what to say about that. Uh, I guess we'll find out soon. Sorry about that. Uh, so pretty standard attack on Carthage, right? You know, you have this big kind of, you know, outward thrusting area right here that is the pretty normal avenue of attack for this settlement due to the fact we talk about it all the time. It's all about angles. It's all about flanking shots. You know, by having these, you know, slanted walls, you know, in corners here, it means that the attackers can get around and shoot and it hit the flanks of the defenders you know when attacking a straightforward wall you can't you can't really do that as well so sediments like this you tend to get this is kind of the primary avenue of attack now it is interesting with this being only a 2v2 instead of a 3v3 or a 4v4 I'm intrigued to see how this may play out a little bit differently without as many troops on the battlefield as what we're kind of typically used to with this only being a 2v2 instead of, like I said, a 3v3 or a 4v4. We do have Pontic Royal Cavalry coming out from the gate. We also have, uh, I was hoping it's chariots, Cappadocian Cav. I don't, I'm not 100% sure why he's bringing his Cappadocian Cav this way. I don't know that it's the best avenue it could be a misclick too you know what i mean he might have clicked outside the wall and they decided this was the way to go there's artillery coming in who is that is that massilia nope it's sparta here looks like he got a pretty good volley there he is getting them out he might take a javi toss Let's see did he lose any 80 and 80 so far no losses probably took some hp damage though I don't, I don't think that was supposed to happen. I don't think they were supposed to go this way. I bet you anything he had his units. He probably had this cab all sitting right here. And then he just clicked this area. And that one cab went this way. And those two cab decided that this was the better way to go. Because I, I highly doubt he meant to go and, you know, risk such a, a bold move there. Okay, so the scorpion is back out on his scorp on his you know equipment out here. I'm not sure what he could really hit though. You know, he's not firing at anything. As of right now, the only targets he might have would be right here, and they're siege towers. You really don't have a great target there. The Double time. You can see, it looks like uh, Pontus took some heavy losses coming through that breach, or holding that breach, I should say. Sorry. 
Massilia looking like he's probably going to go in. Yep, he's got his thorax going. And then is this a Massilian Thorough Spear? Yep. I'm intrigued that he's sending the Massilian Thorough Spear in, though. 21 kills, they could possibly be out of ammo. Even then, you've got a thorax sitting right there that would be a better unit in combat. Looks like he wants to get some jabbies off. Eastern Spearman with only 80 men. I think this Spearman unit was spread along the wall. It's kind of a weird way you can spread a unit like it very, very thinly through a long stretch of wall. But you can see, probably due to a bunch of these getting destroyed, he lost a lot of that spear unit, and so now it's just this like random flag, you know, 80 man unit that's just like running around with their head, like chickens with their head cut off, you know what I mean? Artillery looks like he's focusing back here on these archers and possibly the, Cal the Mercenary Celtic Warriors. I think it's the only artillery they brought was, oh no, we've got a Greek Scorpion as well. But Sparta's Ballista has 35 kills. You know, you might, usually I tend to find that this is a, usually a pretty good area to at least throw a couple volleys into. There's almost always clumps of troops in this area. It's just, there's not a whole lot of room to, to set stuff down here. You know, he can't quite see it, but you look at that, you know. If he could get a volley off into that, man, that'd be a really good shot. But due to kind of just the, I don't know, my, my, my phrase of the day is due to, but because of the buildings right here and then the wall, you really, there's just not a very good angle to get a shot into this area here, which sucks for the attackers at least. Sorry, I had to get a drink there. Eastern archers shooting over. I hope they're not just shooting at the thorax sword right here. It's probably not the best shot to be taking. They're in combat and shields facing. Now that's a really good shot. See that Massilian Thorough Spear shooting over the heads into those Celtic warriors? Nicely done. And you can see Massilia leaving a Thorough Spear here. Well, he might be moving it now, of course, because as soon as I talk about something, they decide to change it. That's gonna say, really smart move, leaving the Thorough Spear here, do, you know, because of, you know, see how I avoided the do to phrase? Mm -hmm. But because of all the cavalry right here, having that Thorough Spear, you know, in that spot, would it be really useful? He kind of put it off a little bit, which I'm not 100% sure why. You know, do they have ammo? They still have plenty of ammo. You know, I don't think he's, it doesn't look like he's setting up to try and shoot anything. Got your Pace Lancers. Now the, the Pontic Royal Cav is shifting around behind, but around the, the Ballista here, you've got one Paracoy Spear and a Paroquay Pikeman? Yeah, one Paroquay Spear and a Paroquay Pikeman guarding the Ballista. Got a Hero Sparta over here, Citizen Cav. And I think, yeah, he did. So he brought his Scorpion back in, which I think is the right call. He might even be able to get some shots right down into here. Especially as the attackers gain ground. I believe that he should be able to get some pretty good targets. More artillery coming in. Kind of focusing still on this archer back area here. Blist is up to 55 kills now. You see Pontus has thrown in a slightly better unit. He's got one unit of Pontic swordsmen in. But after that, I mean, all you've got is Celtic warrior here. Got some thorax swords from Bactria moving forward. They are fighting over this way. We've got Spartan Hoplites, Paroque Spears taking on a depleted um, thorax sword and then a fresh thorax sword. The more Spartan Hoplites that have shifted on their towers this direction. You know, I'm not usually a big fan of the Spartan Hoplites. I don't, they're nowhere near as good as, you know, Bringing a smaller army of Royal Spartans is probably more beneficial to a bigger army of Spartan Hoplites. 
Archer Fire coming in. We got your Galic Hunters here from Massilia. Looks like they're shooting at the Bactrian and Peltis. Bactrian and Peltis, I think they've got pretty decent armor. 65 armor, so they should be able to weather that pretty well. Yeah, he honestly probably didn't even need to pull that out as soon as he did. You know, that one volley from the Galic Hunters wasn't going to all of a sudden change the game or make him die all of a sudden. It doesn't look like they've got any infantry over here, and that's kind of worrying. Because look at this. You have one archer, two archer, three archer, four archer. You have four archers wide open down this alleyway. And there's nothing there. You have a small Pontic sword that has kind of tied down this Thorax sword here. That Pontic sword was actually, or the Thorax sword, excuse me, was actually chasing these archers because there's nothing else there. You know, are we bringing a Pontic over to assist that? Or the Galax have now started targeting the Pontic sword here. Syrian archers got the, the thorax over here just broke he's got 139 kills that's pretty solid Spartan hoplite here is a Sparta in now and a royal Spartan the thorax sword does not stand a chance against the here is a Sparta and the royal Spartan we do have one of the Syrians over here as well there's that that small Bactrian uh, or I mean yeah Bactrian Eastern Spearman Thorax Swords coming back into the settlement. They, got, they don't have to sit out here because they don't have that Scorpion there anymore. Scorpion still not firing. He probably doesn't have the best shot at the moment, so saving the ammunition for now is probably the right play. Now, that third, they had another Cav. In fact... We're missing two cab units. They had two, or they had a Cappadocian cav, a noble blood cav, and then they sent their Pontic royal cav, oh, there he is right there, over this way. But where did the Cappadocian cav go? Did he also go over here? Pontic royal cav has taken some hits. I think the artillery shot him. Artillery at 62. So that's unfortunate, he has no kills on it. And this, is this where it happens? Remember what we were talking about? We got Citizen Cav, or Missilian Cav on the move. Got some units that are moving over this way, but the Cav, with a wide open avenue down the road, I'd keep going. Yep, go right past the factory Peltis, keep going. Ah, uh, here we go, Pontic Sword sitting right there. So what you could do at this point, you could probably try and break the Eastern Archers and then try to get back into the factory and Peltis. You know, we don't want to, this is a lost cause, right? Now that the infantry's there, you want to try and save the Cav unit as much as you possibly can. You know, unless you find spots, this is not a bad place to go, Syrian Archers. Then if I was them, I would turn around and hit the back of the Pontic Sword. Ping pong, that's literally what you're doing, right? So you hit the back of the, pa the Pontic Sword, come back, hit the back tree and Peltis, go back, hit, you know what I mean? You can do that kind of stuff. There's some space to move here. We do still have, we, we have the Pontic Sword coming up from the back though. Basilian Cav, 73 kills. I think he was already Chevron before the battle. Sorry, I'm just kind of looking around here. Syrian archers that have retreated back. Massilian Cav up to 86 kills now. Over on the right, you can see that Sparta has pushed Bactria back into the, you know, the intersection here. Thorax swords taken on here as a Sparta. Here is a Sparta, 96 kills with 92 men. Got these Bactrian Peltis that are kind of throwing over here, which it's, it's probably the right call there. Here's Sparta, very dangerous. And then 
they also have their Royal Spartan here as well. So, you know, you might have the opportunity of getting a couple different hits. Cappadocian Cav, I don't know where he was hiding. He might have been hiding in the woods right here, but he comes over, hits the Levy Freeman, gets rid of them. We're still, I don't know where the Bactrian Royal Cav, he's, he, you know, he's being sneaky. And honestly, he might be just being kind of a little more sneaky than he really needs to be. Noble Blood Cav is in the settlement now. Zero kills. Not sure if how he got, I don't know if he was able to sneak back in through here. I doubt it. I think he probably just went back through the gate. Factory and Pelt is 77 kills, 18 kills. Noble Blood Cav are moving. Maybe up the flank, I was gonna say, maybe he sees the flank of the thorax. Got to watch out. Got another Thorax now coming in, as well as got Gallic Hunter Fire coming in. 62 out of 80 with 5 6 kills. Artillery, 111 kills now. He's still shooting back this way. Royal Spartans are doing okay. Where did the heroes of Sparta? They, so they pulled back. Here's a Sparta with 98 kills, but they're only 50, or 64 out of 120, so about half health on them. But the Royal Spartans swapping out for a Spartan Hoplite, and it looks like they're actually taking both the heroes of Sparta and the Royal Spartans back off this direction. Yeah, the Royal Spartans stop, so maybe not them. So right now what we've got is we've got Spartan Hoplite, Spartan Hoplite, Spartan Hoplite, healthy, healthy, and depleted. Royals, or the Heroes of Sparta, excuse me, coming in over here to, I guess, just beef up the line a little bit. Because it does look like, I mean, Massilia looks to be pretty much full committed on infantry. You got one Massilian Thoreau Spear that's just kind of guarding the gate or the, the breach here. You've got another one here. Oh, here we go. There's the Pontic Royal Cav. And if they're not paying attention, he might be able to sneak right by, but they are. Citizen Cav coming in. You also have the Hippias Lancer responding. So the Pontero Cav is probably going to do a lot of damage to the Citizen Cav right off the bat here. And honestly, I think he pulled out of that a little too early. You probably want to stay in that for a couple more seconds. Allow that charge bonus to really kick in so you get those kills, you know what I mean? By pulling out so early, I don't think you got the true value of that charge that you should have. Got some Bactrian Hillman up on the wall here. Yeah, so now just like a big fight. Oh, hey, look at this. Ba or Bactria and Noble Horse. I didn't see them. So now what we've got is we've got Hippias Lancers, Citizen Cav versus Bactria and Noble Horse and Ca or Pontic Royal Cav. The Bactria and the Pontic Cavalry is a little bit better. I'm not a very big fan of Hippias Lancers. I think they're a bit over expensive for, in my opinion, not a very great uh, shot cav. It's not to say you can't take a unit like that and do well with it, but I think for the most part, it's a bit overpriced. Here comes, uh, here's the Sparta, the general for Sparta coming in. But here's the downside to a hoplite unit like that. See, now the defensive cab, they can just pull out of this combat without fear of getting javied in the back by these units, right? You know, so... The Hippias Lancer is actually pursuing this. As well as now the Citizen Cav. It looks like maybe he's going to pull that back now. I would. I think it's still a bit risky, a little bit early to be committing your gen. You do outnumber them now, so you're probably safe. You know what I mean? 
The Bactri and Noble horse has kind of gotten away. But he stopped moving, so is the Citizen Cav going to be able to come in and sweep up behind him? Yes, he is. He's not paying attention to it. Bactrian Noble Horse is better than Citizen Cav. Um, but being caught flat-footed, charged in the back, is not a good thing. Ooh, there's... Wait, there's two things going on here. There was some sort of cavalry unit. I couldn't tell. Was that a chariot from Pontus back here? No, it's the Cappadocian Cavalry. But look at this. We have got a mercenary Gallic hunter from Massilia all the way back here. They must have spawned in the back. And the defenders didn't set anything to watch this. Now, the question is, did that Cappadocian Cav see them? Because if they did, this Gallic hunter is in a lot of trouble. If they didn't, the defenders could be in for a painful surprise here. I think the Bactrian Noble Horse ended up defeating the Citizen Cav. Spartan Hoplite's only 25 kills. 66 kills on this one. We got the Royal Spartans in over here. I think that's a Bactrian unit that we just saw come in. And Thorax Sword, yep. And we got some more Pontic Swords from Pontus. Wait, Pontic Swords from Pontus? Really? Like, oh my god, I didn't think that. Dummy. Yeah, I'm talking to myself, calling myself dumb. For feeling the need to clarify that the Pontic Sword was from Pontus. Wow. I wonder what happened to that scorpion. We haven't seen it in a while, and I don't ever think it really ever started firing. So where did he go? I don't know. Last we saw, okay, there, look, there he is, there he is, and he still has zero kills. What are you doing, man? You need to be getting some kills on that thing. It's too darn expensive to not get any kills. Even the attackers got some kills on theirs. They got 70 kills and a chevron. Now we got this, the Cretans from Sparta that are duking it out. Well, it's not really duking it out because they're not firing back, but they are shooting at the mercenary or the yeah, mercenary Syrian archers. Auxiliary Syrian archers are for Rome. Only Rome. Cappadocian Cab maybe going to try and get a little spicy here. Maybe not. They actually got a Pontic sword all the way over here out of the breach, and then attacking that Thorough Spear from the Massilian Thorough Spear that's kind of been chilling over here. Gallic Hunter's coming in. The Gallic Hunter's out of ammo? Well, that sucks. 70 kills? That's, that's a bit painful. 90, or wow, look at that. 103 kills now. 99 kills. 52 kills. Here comes a Bactrian Thorax Sword. They really need to get this bad boy started. Because they are hurting without it. Or they will be. You know what I mean? It's an expensive unit. So to have very, very few kills or zero kills is a non-option for a unit as expensive as that. I honestly think, you know, if they can't get a shot from here, then move it forward to here and shoot from there. You know what I mean? Pass Lancer coming out. Well, he's, he sees the Bactrian Noble Horse. Now, the Bactrian Noble Horse has a couple targets here. We've got a Thorax Sword. we got a Helot Archer. You now, the Helot Archer is pretty much dead anyways. Gallic Hunter is 123 kills, so probably out of ammo. But the Hippias Lancer, I think, yep, he's catching up. He gets a charge. Doesn't seem to be a very good charge, though. 25 kills, but that's, you know, from a couple engagements, not just this one. Hey, he didn't get a very good charge on that. 
Sparta, Sparta continuing to just kind of bully his way down these streets. He also has a Spartan Hoplite up, up on the wall taking on the back Dream Hillman. Look at that Eastern Archer, 164 kills. It looks like pretty much everything is committed for the attackers at this point. The Greek Scorpion up to 71 kills. We still have some ammo on Sparta's archers, but Sparta looks like he's gonna be out pretty, pretty soon. He's got 111 kills. And well, this one looks like he'll be going for a little while. And it's 76 skills. 76 skills, I would assume probably he's got probably got about half health or half ammo. For the 111, probably a quarter ammo left. You know, unless they've been getting super good shots. Royal Spartans now, two Chevrons with 253. Here's Sparta General. I wonder, looks like that other era of Sparta is gone. We got a lot of units breaking, look at that. So the Pontic General is dead. You know, Pontus, I don't, they, obviously they are not handling it very well. You know what I mean? The troops aren't. I think the Pontic Swords have disciplined, which kind of nullifies the effect of the General being dead. But for things like the Eastern Archers, they don't. So you can see they are just uh, not enjoying that at all. Base morale of 20, and then a penalty because the gen's dead. It's no bueno. Bounce power, though, is still dead even. Hippias Lancers now in the settlement. If I'm the Hippias Lancers, look at this. Look at this right there. No, where are you going? You got a wide open lane. Get in there. Um, he's missing, a, I think, a really big opportunity to get in here and cause some problems. Look at this. It's wide open right here. Uh, Masili, I think you're missing out. There's not much left back here. Even if there is, you know, just your cavalry being out in the back lines of the defenders is a nuisance in and of itself. And you get down here, maybe you come up here, maybe you go threaten the cap point. It's right there. I'm just saying. So he's come back in. Is he now seeing? He sees it. He sees it. There you go. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get in there. Factory Regard tried to kind of cut off, but just didn't work. But he's going to continue taking on the here's Sparta general. Just keep moving. Yeah, they got on the wall. It's fine. Just keep going. As you, come on. you are a nuisance now. And look at this. They're back. The Gallic Hunters from the back. They're coming back. Oh, and Sparta has completely demolished this other side. I'm trying to figure out how the balance power is so even. I wonder if the fact that the Greek Scorpion has zero kills and has pretty much full ammo is propping up the defender's balance of power. Although, to be honest with you, the attackers don't have a ton left. You know what I mean? Sparta's still got units left. He's got his uh, Periquet Pikemen, Spartan Hoplites. He's got a Spartan Hoplite up on the wall. He still has his general, who's about half health, 220, or 212, excuse me, 212 kills. Scorpion, 78 kills, but I'm pretty sure they're out of ammo. And look at this. They are back there. They had a noble blood cav sitting on the, the point from earlier. Uh, looks like the Hippias Lancer got a charge in on him, 64 kills. And I'm not going to be surprised if we're going to start seeing this archer shoot right at him. Point blank. I love that on this map they really took the the point to add in something as like big as the uh, naval docks of Carthage. 
just a, a nice detail. Orders understood. Hippias Lancer, 89 kills. Noble Blood Calf, 34 kills. 49 to 25. And they have almost got this under the control. It's neutralized at the moment. But you can see that flag going up. And once it goes up, the timer starts. But I don't think we're going to get a time win. I think we're going to get an army win here. Just looking at the time, they don't have enough. Like It's like 150 seconds to cap the point. Uh, or for like after you've capped the point for the timer is like 150 seconds of holding that to win it. And we don't have that kind of time, so I think that we're probably going to get, I think the attacker's gonna win. Well, I mean, I guess it could be a crazy thing where like army losses hits. Uh, I think the attacker's gonna win. That's what I'm calling, attackers are gonna win. I think it's pretty obvious at this point, to be honest with you. Uh, but it's going to be army losses that's going to do it, not the cap point. I'm actually kind of surprised army losses isn't kicking in yet. I guess it had to have been a time win. Interesting. Now, obviously, kill numbers are going to be a little bit lower than we were used to, right? We're missing you know, we, you know, a third person on each team. So, um, for Massilia, the Cav did decently well. Archers did decent. Um, his infantry did pretty solid. 252, 128, 174. Um, that, that's Spoon Cal, Spoon Calvary, even though I don't think he meant to say Calvary instead of Cavalry. Um, and then we have Junatan or Jonathan as Sparta with 1828. Um, honestly, kind of just tanked through this one. You know what I mean? 134, 255, 288. Uh, a couple of his archers did pretty solid. His artillery did decent. Billy Bob Jr. as Bactria. That, that right there is very painful. That hurts. Um, two archers pretty good. His infantry solid for the most part. Um, and he was back to with 1794. Sir Alex as Pontus with 2063, actually leading the game. You know, his uh, his infantry did pretty good. 201, 116, 134. Um, Cav, that that was not so hot. He think he I think he spent a bit too much on his cavalry. Um, his archers did really well, except for this one. But that is going to be it for today's battle. Thank you guys so much for joining. Don't forget that if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys next time.